If you haven't tried this viral pasta chips hack, then you must be missing out. This is super easy, delicious, crunchy, yummy, and yet the perfect snack for any time. And it's just more delicious with this feta cheese dip. So watch the video till the end. Assalamu alaikum. I hope you all are doing good and we are good too. Alhamdulillah. Let's start making this. For this, you need to boil your pasta. Make sure you boil the pasta according to packet instruction. Take pasta of your choice, any kind of shape, any kind of pasta. But please do not over boil it. Okay, we want it to be nicely and perfectly boiled. Okay, then in here, I'm adding Parmesan cheese. If you have the fresh one, add in fresh one and as, as much as you can. After that i am adding here olive oil a generous amount of olive oil so our pasta chips won't be too dry we do not want it to be too dry okay so a generous amount of olive oil after that add some bread crumbs bread crumbs will give it more crispy texture and it will make our chips more crispy garlic powder who doesn't love garlic who doesn't love garlic let me know please so we are adding here around one tablespoon of garlic powder oregano or any kind of seasoning or herb as you like if you want you can add in here tomato paste as well it's completely optional mix everything well until it combines and then we are going to air fry it for about 15 to 20 minutes i'm using here my nutri cook air fryer and i posted the review after using it for about two months and i'm giving you the link up here there somewhere and unboxing video as well you can just completely deep fry the pasta as well now here we are making the sauce or the dip for this i took here greek yogurt and in the greek yogurt i'm adding feta cheese take equal amount of feta cheese and the greek yogurt you can use plain yogurt as well it's completely optional you can just use the straw board ranch dressing as well with your chips but this step the one that we are making is just amazing trust me people and here i'm adding some basil leaves you can add italian leaves as well any kind of seasoning and then garlic powder again my favorite garlic powder but some black pepper for some spice touch not uh, too much but a little bit and then blend after blending it the texture will look something like this and then enjoy it with your crispy crunchy super delicious pasta and yes i forgot if you are new here you are most welcome please don't forget to subscribe hit the bell icon and leave a comment for me i will see you in the next video until then take care Masalama. bye bye